you got some people. Men, at arms. Be ready for anything. Because whatever it is, that's the very much ship here. Lost it back from where it came from. The doctor? The one that went missing, yes. Help him up, and take him to the rest of your cult. Yes, sir. What happened to you, doctor? <laughs> what? what the? Where am I? Ferryman! Wait, no, no ferryman anymore. Doctor? Whoa! Ew. Oh, don't do that! You scared me half to death! I do apologize. I am General Benton. Are you alright? Well, as far as I know, yes. I have real craving for fish fingers and custard, though. And did you just say Benton? Yes, you heard correctly. I believe you knew my grandfather, Sergeant Benton. Very well, in many incarnations. He was a great man. Doctor, if I may be blunt, what happened to you? Where did you go? Ah, oh, isn't that the question? All I remember is the ferryman being sent away. Then a sharp pain, a vision of one of my future incarnations, and then... Poof! Gone in the wind. The ferryman? Wait, is the ship out there the ferryman? Yes. Well, it was until I sent him away. I do hope the Dr. Mentioned Doctor has better luck with him. Doctor, I understand you're still collecting yourself, but I really need you to focus. Focus? Y yes right. My, 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 uh, my, my, <laughs> my apologies. How did you come back from whatever happened to you? If I'm being honest, I'm not quite sure, General. I, I actually don't know how I came back. It's rather new to me, actually. This has never happened before? Not like this. No. The funny thing is, I remember I had to give up regeneration energy, but all that energy has returned. As if time corrected or restored its... <sighs> Doctor, what is it? I remember. Everything. I saw a vision of a future incarnation of myself because she was drawing all our regeneration energy to stop a being. A being that was controlling time! Oh, stupid doctor! Of course, it makes sense! She gave her life so that in the end, the rest of us could live again and continue her legacy! So you were pulled away by a future incarnation of yourself to stop a being who was controlling time, and then sent back to the future so you can put things back the way they were. I guess that's one way of putting it, yeah. You're sure you're all right? Yes, General. I just, yeah, <laughs> sit for a little while. So many questions, just like your grandfather. <laughs> um, have you by chance come across my TARDIS at all? Actually, we did. This way. Oh, many thanks, General! Hello, dear. Yes, 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 I know, I know. I've been gone. Trust me, a long story. Safe travels, Doctor. Safe travels? Pfft, boring. You gotta have a little danger in your life, but I get where you're coming from. That man is crazy, but very intelligent. I have missed you, dear. Now, where should we head off to? I feel like a much-needed vacation. Oh. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I'm never gonna get that. A distress call. Hmm. Well, I suppose I should check it out. At least. Take us to the origin of that call, girl. I wonder if I was too late. 
or just in time. Okay, I really want to know what's going on here. Shh! Don't make a sound. We'll see you. Two questions. Why are you whispering? And who's they? These giant bird creatures. They told us they were here to remove a recently deceased member of the crew. However, after they came, the crew was started to go mad and some even ended their lives just to get out. Did these giant birds happen to have a diamond or gem on their head by chance? Actually, yeah. How did you know? I've faced them before. This must be another rogue pack. The race is essentially a peaceful one. You could say they're universal undertakers. Any death in the universe that is greatly important, they arrive to re retrieve it, and that's that. Though they once tried to fake my death, till I caught them in the act, that is. Alright, they're gone. Who are you exactly? Oh yes, my identification. Station Inspector. Great. Well, obviously this place is in no shape to continue. Well, maybe we can fix that. And why is your name The Doctor? I just prefer over Inspector. Plus it just sounds better. And what role do you serve on this station? Well, originally I was the main engineer. However, after the death of our guidance officer, I became captain. I'll tell you, I wasn't exactly ready for a promotion that size. I suppose not. By the way, those giant birds are called the Shan Sheath. The Shan Sheath? Weird name for undertakers. Yeah, I'm not quite sure about it either. Just how it is. Now, we need to figure out where they took the other crew member. His name was Mark. He was a medical officer. Why did he have a spacesuit on inside the station? He was trying to drown out the music. I'm sorry. The music? Yeah, the Shansheath played this harp-like thing that got us all into this trance or something. We were forced to remember things about our fallen member. But after they stopped playing, Mark was the only one who could still hear it. That is very interesting. So the spacesuit, it drowned it out? The music, I mean? Well, not exactly. It did make it more bearable, though. He never took that suit off until... Well, until he went mad and was taken by the Shan Sheath. We need to get him back before he kills himself, or they do. Yes, that is definitely something to do. However, there's something else you should do before. And what's that then? Check your security footage. And what for? How many Shan Sheath members did you encounter? Only two. Why? Because they usually travel in packs of three. So there's still one roaming the ship? Great. There we are! Now you're getting it! Which way is it to your security office? I'll take you. This way. Do not fear us. We are here to help you. Yeah, like I'd believe that after what you did to us. We simply gave you a way to remember your crew member by. Is that such a crime? Yeah, I don't know what that harp thing was. But it did more than make us remember. Two of my fellow crewmates are dead because of it. We do apologize. But we are undertakers, and without death we cannot do our part. You've already done enough to my head. I'm not letting you do anything more. Your statement has been noted. These human deaths are becoming pointless. On the contrary, with our new ally, we'll be able to make great use of them. There is one human left. Yes, the captain. Her death will complete our needs here. What was that? Sonic screwdriver hacks into most electrical devices, human or alien, although it doesn't do wood. But I do have a prototype that almost works, so... <laughs> crossed. Look, in the cargo bay. Ah, oh, the three Shan Sheath. They got Mark. I'm the last one to go. I won't let that happen. I've stopped them before, of course with help, but I stopped them nevertheless. And how exactly do we stop them? Well, I usually talk until they are tired of well, talking. Then from there it's a lot of running, but the genius idea usually comes after. <laughs> You're mad. Are you sure you weren't in a trance like we were? <laughs> oh, it's quite genuine. 
I'm a madman with a box. You'll see it later. I'm sorry, I never caught your name. Alexis. Pleasure to meet you. Properly. Now, to handle the Shan Sheath. They're moving onto the cargo bay. But where? Well, if you knew the captain was the remaining person, where would you think to go? The bridge. Exactly. Let's go. Wait, you actually want to confront them? Of course I do! I want to remind them what happened to the last rogue Shan Sheath that crossed me. He's an idiot. But he's got courage. Give him that. The captain isn't here. Are you sure we didn't kill the captain already? According to their regulations, if the acting captain dies, someone must take the role of captain. There's only one human left. That human is technically the captain now. Then we must find her. Hello, boys! How are we doing today? Your face seems... familiar. Oh, I certainly hope so. The last time I met a rogue fraction of the Shan sheep, they were roasted like turkeys on Thanksgiving. The Doctor! Ah, you do remember me. I'm so touched. My question for you is, why are you murdering these innocent humans? That's not your style, even if you are a rogue. You collect dead people, not cause their deaths. There is so much you don't know about our plans, Doctor. Well, whatever your plan is, it stops here. We're afraid that it won't be happening, human. You must die for the greater cause. The greater cause? Doctor, others have tried before to kill you, but not this time. This time, the Doctor will die by our hands. <laughs> That was a close one. Any genius ideas, Doctor? I'm afraid I'm too... well... afraid to think. My only suggestion? Run! It's something. Go! They're getting away. Then let's move. Agreed. <sighs> we should have a few minutes before they catch up. Doctor. We can't last long here. Shin Sheath will catch us eventually. Unless we know where they are at all times. Wait, you mean the security office? Yes, and we'll play a little trick on them. There's also another option. Which is what? Self-destruction of the base. That would be for the most dire of situations. No blowing this place up, not while I'm around. Come on. How can you run so fast? They were here. They can't hide forever. Split up. We'll cover more ground that way. Agreed. Agreed. What are you doing? Creating a holographic projection. That way they think they found us only to discover we were never there. Wait a minute, look. They've separated. Ah, clever birds. They're trying to cover more ground, which actually works out great for us. Why did you just scan us? So I can get a perfect holographic projection of ourselves. Detail is important in this case. Alright. And here we go! Well, it's about time you got here. Doctor, your death will be very beneficial to our plan. Sorry, I guess I'm not fully all here. Best of luck next time! Ah. If I were a captain, I would stop myself here in the cargo bay. Come out, come out. Wherever you are, Captain. I heard you were looking for me? Ah, there you are. Now, just hold still so I can kill you. Take your best shot. Oh, come on now. Is that really the best you have? It would be foolish to attack a hunger. How intelligent. But I don't think you'll get the chance to do any more talking. No, no! Bye-bye, Birdie. Ah! That was fun. We still have two left, though. Your bridge. It also has a space hatch, yes? Yeah, why? One cargo bay door, one space hatch. I like the way you think. So do I. <laughs> and look at this. We just ha so happen to have one of the Shan Sheaf on the bridge as we speak. Perfect. I know you're around here. Just accept your death and this will all be over. And for you, Doctor. 
We'll finally have the funeral we planned years ago. I'll admit, the rocket was a nice touch, but still a tad over the top, especially for a funeral. It was such a shame that Sarah Jane passed away. We made sure to take great care of her. Ha! Huh, joke's on you. She's still alive. Is she, though? Enough talk. Killing us isn't your style, Doctor. Well, technically, it's not me who's killing you. And second, I blew up the other rogue group with Sarah Jane's help. So, you don't know me at all. Have a nice time in the vacuum of space. <gasps> One to go. Where is it? Right behind you. Leave my ship and we'll let you live. I'm afraid I can't go without your dead bodies. That's where you're going to play this. Alexis, what did you do? Silent self-destruct button. We have 90 seconds until this place blows. You will kill us all. If that's what it takes, then so be it. Um, sorry. I didn't agree to this. Let me take him to the Shadow Proclamation. We can end this without any explosions. Sorry, Doctor, but this has to happen. Either you leave now, or stay and feel the flames as this place turns to debris. Sorry, I can't accept that. Ugh. You have changed, Doctor. You have a darker side to you. Oh, that's always been there. I'm just letting it out a little. Be glad I'm not fully releasing it on you. Have fun running in prison. This isn't over, Doctor. This isn't over. Yeah. I'm afraid it is. Ah, uh, right on time, girl. <clears throat> Alright, girl, get us out of here, and fast! Three, two, one... Well, that's the end of that. Time to get Alexis back to HQ. Let us help you with her. Wait, that's Alexis. I was never here. You got it, Doctor. <laughs> Just a madman with a box. Hello, girl. I guess whatever the Shanshi's plan was, it's over now. What the? I didn't tell you to land, dear. What's going on here? Ginger! This is unexpected. Yeah, sorry about that, but I really need your help. With what exactly? And how did you find me? Look, that's not important right now. What is important is the fact that the Great Intelligence is back, and I need your help. 